Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will talk about stepper motors. These motors are different from normal electric motors. You cannot connect them directly to a battery or power supply because they need special circuitry. These motors do not move continually as in the case of normal electric motors, but they move in steps, hence their name. They move step by step, a few degrees at a time, and that makes them very useful when you need a precise control of the motion. For example, in printers, normal printers, 3D printers, and other applications when the precise control of the movement is needed. As I said, they need a special control circuit in order to feed the electrical voltage that they need. But in this video, we will explain the basics of their working and I will show you how to make them move to see the steps of movement using a single battery. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The stepper motor works in the following way. The rotor is a permanent magnet and we have a set of magnetic cores. In the simplest case, we have two cores. And coils around the cores in order to magnetize the cores. Now, if we apply voltage to this coil, for example, positive and negative here, then the core will be magnetized and we will have a north-south here and a south here. So the magnet aligns in this direction, north attracts south, south attracts north. Now, we disconnect the power from this coil, this magnetic field disappears and now we apply voltage to the other coil, positive, negative. So here now we have north and south. This south wants to align with this north and the rotor rotates a quarter of a revolution. Now again disconnect power here and connect again this coil, but with the opposite voltage, negative and positive. So that now we have a south here and a north here, and the rotor again rotates a quarter of a revolution. And in that way, we continue to switch coils and to reverse the voltage at each step, and the rotor will continue to rotate. Of course, in a real motor, the rotor is not a single magnet, but we have a lot of magnets and we, have, we also have several cores, so the rotation is just a few degrees per step and not in quarters of a revolution. This is a stepper motor and let's verify what I use say. The first two wires correspond to one of the coils and the other two to the second coil. And let's apply voltage alternatingly between the coils and reversing the voltage. Observe the movement of the motor. I'm going to apply positive negative to the first coil. Now the second coil. And now I reverse the polarity, first coil, second coil, reverse polarity and observe how 
the motor moves counterclockwise. I have made this contraption in order to observe the turn of the motor without reversing the wires from the power supply. The first coil is connected to these two terminals and the second coil to these other two. Then the first coil is connected here both with the polarity reversed and the second coil here also reversed. That is, this terminal connects to this one, this to this, this other one goes here and this here. And I'm going to fit the motor with this little 1.5 volt battery. So you can see how the motor turns every time we feed a coil with the battery. In a real application, the commutation is done electronically instead of manually as we are doing here, using a controlling circuit for stepper motors. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next one.